ladies and gentlemen, come rain, sun, or demonic attack from extra sources outside of our galaxy, I do a fundraiser every month. And with the April fundraiser, I got $770 left to go because you guys are amazing. More on that later. Now let's get to the weather. Due to the craziness of the modern age, I might be a bit discombobulated plus rusty. So we're going to start out by giving you what you love, which is weather models. Now, remember, we are about to enter April and April is going to have the Eris conjunction, uh, the inferior one, though. But every single month that happens, we get some pretty wild weather, usually windy or the very windy variety. And so we are going to be on the lookout for some pretty nasty April storms in April. Some places will probably get some snow. Some places will probably get some rain. And a lot of places will probably get some wind. And so right now we're looking at it. It's scattered, smothered, and covered super chunky style. And it's almost like, hey, rain bands, what are you guys doing? And at times it looks like they really want to retrograde. But Cranky Weather Guy, who's like the king of weather Twitter, has been talking about expect a pretty big storm the beginning of April, if I read his tea leaves correctly. He noted it's really banging away tonight. So I noted that's what she said. Sorry, I got to try and keep hope alive, even if it is forced. Not no hope's alive, but humor. Humor, that's the thing I got to work on. You get a bunch of hail warnings. For like Haverhill, Methuen, Nashua, Lowell, Leo Minster, Woburn, Lynn, Lynn is awesome, Boston, Somerville, Quincy, Weymouth, and Worcester. So watch out for that shit stuff. If you combine wine and pollen, it's technically a weather report from Georgia. Eric Wigglesar. Says we get a fresh cluster of lightning flashes over Gilsom, New Hampshire. The Crankster churning it out like Bida. To the north, there's the mixed bag of results with Western Maine hanging on with the heavy snowfall. Heavy snowfall. Don't mess with Texas. Texas is cool. Those are the conditions right now. Earthquakes be steady rocking in the five variety. We're talking Nuevo Caldonia. Dorsal Central Atlantica, East Tonga, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, Vanuatu, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. The sun has gone down for the night here in Texas, but the sun will come out tomorrow. You can bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow, come what may. Michael Ventrice letting us know it was an active day for severe thunderstorms yesterday was 17, was 17 observed. Tornadoes stretching across five states. We're talking wind reports, hail reports, tornado reports. It was an active day. And I think April is going to be active as well. Man, the April Fool's mentions are just now starting, and I'm already totally sick of them. April Fool Swell 2020. Well, isn't that swell? Images are 0 Z. April, April 2nd and 4th. Just inside six days. Massive long period. North Atlantic swell developing behind storm force low. He's going to have a YouTube forecast coming up later today. Maybe it's already out. Who knows? He's Dada Boo, the Florida wave master. You know, you know, you know what we're looking at here? Heavy, heavy snow, man. Heavy snow. That's what we're looking at here. This video brought to us by severeweather.eu. Intense snowfall past Tuesday in Spolito Obria, Italia, which is like Italy. With an extra A? I don't even know. But it's beautiful. I could be kissing you in those flakes, baby. But you messing around. Whoever you are. Hey, Astro of Fight Club. Have I mentioned that these are crazy days indeed? Well, if I haven't, I'd like to, I'd like to um, mention it. And there's no reason to be showing Wolverine's taint. You know, what we're doing now is we're goosing the gander. And taking a look at precipitation forecasted over the next 48 hours. And as you can see, we get some coast to coast wetness, snow, possible icing, and other things. 
here at the end of March. And this is probably not my favorite March of all time, you know. But we do the best we can with the hand that we've been dealt. And so we got one storm moving out, another storm moving in, and then a storm moving in behind that. You see that? There's one moving out from the northeast and then coming through the south east and then the pacific north and midwest so yeah it's gonna get you know it's it's gonna be extra weathery so buckle up for that bucko man the persistent dry hot spot that is driving all the moisture above it is persistent did i say persistent twice okay yeah we can see some water vapor so yeah the the black mark is dryness and heat and so i have noted many times when that happens you get an earthquake or a volcano eruption somewhere near the vicinity so we will keep our eyes peeled but look at all those spinning eyes man there's three of them there's one there there's one there and then there's one there are they all upper level loads i don't know i'm not as scientific -y as i would like to be one of these days man it's a neat little wind up we got there moving through the northeast but its tail extends all the way down into mexico do you see that if i stall long enough this picture should start to move at some point but look at all those pretty colors there's pinks and there's blues and there's greens i even see some red there we go yeah look at that thing dude that is crazy and if you know on my atmospheric defense team it looks like they're still trying to blow holes in these things which technically I guess is good because you know imagine if the weather were a lot worse than it already is now man watching those flows is kind of mesmerizing mother nature is a beautiful thing that continues to change day after day after day after day after day after day after day hey UK oh this is not what I wanted like this is not good production value having this spinning gray wheel of doom all right it is fixed and we're checking in on our friends over the pond and yes that it includes hermione granger um who doesn't love emma not in a weird creepy way all right so we are watching our mega massive rain bands form the giant horseshoe shape that then looks like a face plus I would say butt cheeks, but then I would probably be just going for the low-level laugh. Look at all those lows kind of squinching up, scrunching together. Definitely fascinating, bro. Super absolutely definitely fascinating. But they seem to lift high north, and so UK... And Europe only will get grazed with these storms, which is good news if you're getting tired of a lot of rain. But it is an interesting, magical process of all these systems scrunching up together. Hey, we are almost to hurricane season. <sighs> Isn't that exciting? We are still in a solar minimum, which means we got some solar wind incoming, as it usually does, when you have an extended solar minimum. Cannot wait. Solar maximum. Minor stream of solar wind is approaching Earth. Estimated time of arrival, March 30th, 31st. And that always makes things extra exciting. A heavenly triangle last night. The moon passed by Venus and the Pleiades forming a heavenly triangle in the sunset sky. Well, fantastic. There's the moon, there's Venus, and there's the Pleiades. If you please. You know what those are? Floating light pillars with the moon and Venus beautiful shot check this out this is venus moving through the pleiades and it's a lot of dots wait what is going on venus and messier messier right there that's venus that's pretty great astrophotography just keeps getting better and better all right this is now the sunset on my super asterisk weather video and if you'd like to contribute to thor news for the month of April, only got seven hundred seven dollars left to go. I got an address you can send me stuff to: a PayPal, Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and I gotta say super duper thanks to Lynn. You're amazing. Susan, you are awesome. Athena, you're great. DDJ, you rock. 
JLL, um, you are a knight in the round table. And Max, you're pretty dang great as well. So, wait, did I not get the, now I can't hit the, shoot. It says Max here. Can I not get it down? Oh, man. This video was like perfect. And then I totally screwed it up. Okay, man, that wasn't totally perfect. I'm, I'm getting my groove back, man. It's been chunky, funky. And the run I did from January 30th through like March was, oof, took a lot out of me. Anyway, y'all are fantastic. I appreciate you. Remember, take care of yourself and your family first. But if you got some spare left over for me, hey, I'd appreciate it. And if you are one of the rich people now who is realizing that um, you're going to have a lot of extra money left over, if you want to buy me a Switch, uh, PlayStation 4, or an Xbox, and a, and a flat screen, you can send it to me. You know, um, I hear video games are fun. Okay, but you know, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I love you. Everybody stay cool. God bless everyone. And hopefully we will make it through these crazy times together and get back to having better days. Peace out. God bless everyone.